welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back welcome back welcome back my name is mariana pembe and this is my youtube channel and if you are watching my videos for the first time please do subscribe and to all of you that are returning thank you so much i know you're enjoying the content and i'm about to bring you even more great content for you to indulge in all right do not forget to subscribe please also do comment, share, as well as switch on your notification bell. On today's video, I am gonna be trying on some of my favorite heels. So that's something for the ladies, all right? If you wanna watch or if you wanna see some of my favorite heels, stay right here, don't go anywhere. Okay, so the first shoe I'm gonna be showing you guys is this one. I don't really wear this this one anymore, uh, but it's Gian Vito Rossi. It's an Italian designer. They're extremely comfortable. I think, yeah, they're extremely comfortable. I love the color. They go with black, they go with white. And I think I also own other pairs from Gian Vito Rossi, which are, yes these ones i'm also quite quite obsessed with these ones um if you guys go on my instagram you'll see them a lot they look good with practically everything be it a dress be it shorts be it sneakers i mean be it joggers be it jeans i love them i absolutely love them and yeah i bought this quite a while back uh and they're still so good like this has not come off yet um and they're still in pretty good condition considering the amount of times that i've worn these shoes yeah, they're quite strong and i've actually tried looking for them uh for another pair i don't know if they don't make it anymore or if it's always sold out but i'm always constantly checking on insta uh, on, on on online if i can find a pair and i never managed to i hope someday after this i'm not i'm not wearable anymore i'm hoping to find um a, another pair all right these are also from i don't know why this is still in here because i've worn this a few times these are also from Gian Vito rossi um I think I have these in black as well. I also happen to have them in black. Aren't they just gorgeous? Mommy, 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 look. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty, 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 pretty. So, okay. Giuseppe Zanotti's. I think those those are the most shoes I own. Like those are the most, uh, the brand, that's the brand that I own the most. And those are Giuseppe's. These are my favorite Giuseppe's. Um, yo, they are super comfortable. They are gorgeous. Uh, I have memories wearing these shoes. Like I had to replace this because I wore it so much. And they're gorgeous. They're absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Have you ever seen a golden heel that looks like this? Have you ever? I don't think so. These are also Giuseppe's. I uh, also haven't worn this a lot. I think I've worn them th on three different occasions. I've had them for, I think, four years now. But they're also really pretty. They make my toes look so pretty. I have toes that look like this. But <laughs> when I'm wearing these heels, oh. yeah, I also have some really deep memories. Some really, really good memories when it comes to these shoes. Another pair of Giuseppe's. These are extremely hard to walk in. Uh, but they are pretty. They are really, 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 really pretty. And this I mostly wear with leggings. I don't know why I only wear them with long leggings. But yeah, that's the only outfit I've worn them with. And also, I've also worn them with, with, with joggers, but like a bit tight black joggers. I've worn them with these. These are also pretty. They are very costly. I think these are... I don't even remember how much they cost, but I really had to think, you know, evaluate my life before I spent that money on these specific shoes. These are also, oh my gosh, I feel like every shoe <laughs> is gonna be my favorite shoe. These are also pretty dope. These are really, really cute Giuseppe's. Um, I think I got all of these around the same time. I don't wear designer shoes anymore because I think my interests now are more, you know, to, towards the, the sneaker side. Uh, but these are also pretty, pretty, pretty strong, good quality shoes. I haven't had to replace these yet. And I've worn these quite a lot as well. And then we have these. These are so badass. Like, they are so dope. They're also from Zano Giuseppe Zanotti. Like, I'm not like a brand enthusiast. So I'm going to pronounce these names 
you know, wrong. <laughs> but we don't care. I love shoes and I don't really care much about the detail, what they mean, who specifically designed them. I just, if something looks good, I will buy it. Not necessarily because it's branded, but yeah, Giuseppe really makes beautiful shoes. Super comfortable. They're way more comfortable than Loops. Louboutins. Christian Louboutins. Louboutins potato potato uh, but they're way more comfortable and they make you know different types of shoes um for any type of girl okay these are also giuseppe's and naughty's i've this there was one of these was also up here but then when i would walk it would hit my ankle of the other foot and one day i was out and i'm like you know what why am i doing this to myself and i was like guys help me remove this damn thing that's why there's like holes um on the bottom layer thingy but they're also gorgeous don't you guys think also make my toes look really pretty like i said i don't have the prettiest of toes but these are pretty pretty decent they remind me of like greek gods and you know <laughs> these are also giuseppe's i think i've worn these ones they're extremely difficult to style they're pretty yes i actually got them yeah i actually got two pairs a red and a blue i think i've worn this once as well they are very pretty shoes like i said but styling them putting an outfit together and then these looking good with the outfit is extremely difficult so it's probably one of my worst investments quite 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 costly but just pretty and they just sit in in the cupboard or on the shelves and i never actually really wear them i've worn both just once okay i think that's enough zanotti for today i'm gonna move on to my other favorite shoe brand which has to be sergio rossi these are sergio rossi's i have four <laughs> Of this exact same pair i have it in blue and then i have them in and then i have them in and okay i i i see it i have a problem but they're pretty <laughs> don't you think look at them they're, they're gorgeous right okay the lubes christian lubitons these are my first christian lube no these are not my yeah these are, these are actually my first pair of christian lubitons original christian lubitons i remember in high school in, in university we used to wear knockoffs but these are my first original shoe um uh, christian lubitons you know the original when the bottom looks like this when you walk it then the paint comes off like this if it's plasticky or if it's sticky they're fake these people this brand makes the most uncomfortable most painful shoes especially these ones that are closed off like this they are painful these are only good for walking out of the car into the car out of the car and sitting down and then as you're sitting down you remove them and keep them under your table <laughs> They are horrible. They're absolutely horrible, but pretty, very pretty. So they're just gonna sit here and not be worn. These are Christian Louboutins, Louboutins, Louboutins. And you can tell from the amount of times they've been repaired that I actually also wore them quite a bit. These are so cute and they're actually comfortable for Christian Louboutins. They're very comfortable. They, you know, you can walk in them all day from morning till you get back home. And yeah, they're super, super pretty. You can wear them with jeans. I wear them with jeans a lot, with skinny jeans. They are gorgeous. Another pair of Louboutins that I'm also absolutely obsessed with are these. Ah, oh, guys, they're so classy. Kind of remind me of Princess Diana. You know, royalty, classy, rich. I'm not rich, but I like to feel rich sometimes, you know. They are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Just look at that. Look at that. You see that? You see that? So I'm obs obsessed. I am obsessed with these boots. Shuna had these shoes for a good year and a half. Brought them back like this. No note saying, oh, I enjoyed your shoes. Thank you so much. I actually even forgot that she had them until she brought them back. I actually thought they were lost or somebody stole them. Then she's like, oh yeah, your shoes. <laughs> and like, oh yeah, my shoes. 
I actually bought these the same day. How gorgeous. I actually even had, on the day I bought these two, I bought a little clutch with this. And that clutch is nowhere to be found. If you're watching this and you currently own a clutch that looks like this and you know you stole it from my room, from my place, thunder fire you. The thunder that is about to strike you is doing push-ups. These are my favorite Louboutins, although I can never wear them anywhere. Because like I said, they are painful. This material is so hard. Like, why? You can't use a nice cushiony something for inside. Like, this is why my toes have corns on them. It's because of people like this that don't consider us their consumers and people who support their brand and buy their product. My poor toes. Can we please, you know, think about this? Can we have a conversation about Louboutins constantly injuring its customers? Okay, but they're gorgeous, aren't they? Candy-coated jeans, you know, color pop, rainbow, light at the end of the tunnel, you know? No? Now, you all know my girl, Pokelo Nari, is a shoe designer, right? Pokelo pink bottoms. I have them in gold. I have them in red. Clearly, I like. And this are actually the rare, like she named this specific look, um, collection. She named this specific collection after the Big Brother Africa housemates. And this was the rare one, rare rouge. She named a whole shoe after me. Girl, your girl done made it in life, all right? And then I also have, I don't know if this is blue or, but it's pretty, it's a pretty color. Looks amazing with jeans, absolutely gorgeous. All right, like I said, I'm not really like a brand enthusiast like that. I buy things when they're pretty, not necessarily because they're expensive or they're branded, but I do own some Jimmy Choo's. I think I, I, I own two pairs of Jimmy Choo's actually. These, these are really nice for church, but I don't really like that the, it's not as high as I'd like it to be, but they're comfortable and they're pretty, they're cute. And then the other Jimmy Choo that I own, this is the other Jimmy Choo pair that I own. I only own two Jimmy Choo pairs. I'm not really a Jimmy Choo fan like that, but I think I was in the store and I was like, oh, let me just buy whatever. And I, I had a thing for orange back then. And this is a really, 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 really pretty orange. I like it, but also don't wear it much as you can see. Yeah, it's pretty. There's that shop in the Dubai mall that it's a really open space, like, with a lot of designer shoes and designer bags. And I saw these, they're from Berman. I don't know if it's Berman or Berman, Alexandre Berman. And oh, these shoes have saved me on many fashionable occasions because you know nude, you can never go wrong with nude. And the fact that it's such a, what is this fabric called? Yeah, it's such a nice, what is this fabric called? Anyways, it's a really, I don't know if it's um, fur-ish type, but I love them. They're so, so pretty. And they're also really good quality because I've also worn them a lot, but this has never come off. It's still not damaged. So I absolutely love them. And what I love the most is the little snake skin in the bottom, at the bottom. Love, 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 love them. These ones, oh, Princess Diana vibes once again. Like I'm, all about this it's classy it's elegant it's simple it's sleek it's oh, mwah, voila beautiful bellissima <laughs> and the other pair of zara that i'm absolutely obsessed with is this one it's so easy like i'm quickly going here you just put on a dress or you put on a pair of jeans and a nice little top and you throw these on look at the bottom look at the the heel how beautiful is that? It's wood and it's wood and this is glass. I think it's so pretty. Really, really, really pretty. I got these shoes from Simi London. <laughs> Guys, these shoes are gorgeous, but you walk to the car and you feel like your toes are about to fall off. I love the heel. I love the design. I love every, but girl, <laughs> them shoes, they, hurt you know they really 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 are painful okay i own one pair of tom fords <laughs> these babies 
are gorgeous on the feet. But my darling, my darling, two minutes standing in this. Ah, my darling. I feel like shoe designers really, really, really need to consider the pain they cost us because I paid so much money for these shoes and the fact that I cannot walk in them or enjoy them as much and as often as I would like to is a ripoff, a complete ripoff. And I feel like I'm about to start a petition where we, yeah, some sort of petition. I, I have to think of the details before I do that, but something is about to happen and I'm gonna make sure of it, but they're gorgeous. Look at this. They, oh, look at that heel, guys. Look at it. Like I could literally stab my boyfriend with this if he were ever to try me. Like, boy, who you think you're talking to? You know, don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Ironic that I used to make fun of plastic shoes. And your girl owns about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, about eight pairs of plastic shoes. All right, plastic, but very gorgeous. Absolutely pretty. Look at, look at that. Come on, come on with it, bring it. Okay. And then, oh, these are shoes you wear to heaven. <laughs> you know, there's a party in heaven and you're like, I'll just throw on a white little dress. And no, like really, imagine angels, if angels wore heels, heavenly, literally heavenly. These are also from Simi. Also very difficult to style, or maybe I just don't like them because they also make my toes extra ugly. <laughs> Like I said before a million times, I don't have the prettiest of toes and these ones scatter them even more. <laughs> you know, you're supposed to wear heels that do this. These ones do this. Now imagine if your toes are like this and then you wear shoes that make them like this. Yeah. Yeah. Cute though. Cute though. Very cute. Also another, I don't know if it's a, if it's a British owned um, brand but I also bought these when I, online when I was staying in London, living in London. These are also very pretty, also very comfortable, extremely comfortable. I've never had a problem wearing these. I've worn them for a shoot, I've worn them to an event. How pretty is this green, guys? It's so, so pretty. Imagine this on like a an orange outfit or like a white outfit, or like any outfit, even black, it pops. It really, really pops. And I love, 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 love them so much. I walk and talk, Givenchy. Who said that? Was that Nicki Minaj? Whatever. It's a song, something. And these are the shoes uh, Kim Kardashian wore with that dress. It was like a full-on set. When I bought these, I didn't really consider, Maria, where are you going to wear? <laughs> where are you going to wear these heels? How are you going to wear them? I was just like, oh wow, they're so alieny. They're so, you know, extraterrestrial, and they're so floral and Kim Kardashian owns a pair of these. Let me get those. And I bought them and I've not been able to wear them. <laughs> but guess what? I own them, you know? <laughs> Pretty, right? I could serve it to you on a platter and you'd totally indulge you, wouldn't you? Ma'am, a pair of Givenchy? <laughs> no? Look at these. Guys, these are gorgeous. I know we don't do platform anymore, but this is cute. Aldo really is the gift that keeps on giving and we don't give Aldo enough credit for their amazing work, okay? Thank you, Aldo. And if anybody from Aldo is watching this, your homegirl can become an influencer for y'all because I love y'all shoes, you know? Aldo, at your convenience, <laughs> buy Aldo today and be as happy as Maria for only 1,299 million dollars, you too could rock these beautiful shoes. Thank you. That's my audition tape. If you're not from Aldo, ignore that. It's just for Aldo people, marketing team, owner, somebody manager, staff member. Can somebody recommend me to the big boss at Aldo? Okay. <clears throat> I think that about covers it. You have seen my favorite heels, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, all right? Because if you don't subscribe, why are you even watching? Okay, no, watch, watch, watch. If you don't wanna subscribe, that's cool, but I, I need the views too, you know? 
the more views the more money you know i get my drift but thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please do subscribe if you would like to if you like my content also switch on the notification bell and i'll see you in the next video from me maria it's toodles